I'm talking to Gary Bailey of Acceliform. His company has a process for making prototype injection molds that starts with 3D printing. After the mold tooling is printed, Gary, in your process, what happens next? What we do is we infuse it with a high temp resin so that we can use it for a prototype tooling. And so then, once you have it infused and have rugged tooling as a result of that process, what can you do with that? You can machine that tool. We, can, we can machine it, we can grind it, and we set it up so that it goes into the, uh, as a mold insert into a mold. Prototyping, how many shots are you getting from this kind of tooling? Well, the most that we've gotten so far is 500 parts out of, and, and no, no effect to the mold. Turnaround time, when, for printing a mold and infusing it, how much total time does well, that take? About 20 hours of total time, but it's pretty much unattended. You set up the printer, you set up the oven, and you, you go back and you wait for it. And you can do more than just injection molds. What other kind of tooling can you create? We, we can get into, we get into the vacuum forming, sand castings, and to patterns for carbon fiber.